Hi everyone, with the pandemic extending till God knows when, many of us might have started to feel pandemic fatigue. The feeling of exhaustion, irritation, restlessness and hopelessness might be leading many of us to get tired of the pandemic measures. But have you noticed, while some of us might be struggling to stay afloat, others might be able to manage this crisis relatively better. So what makes those people different from us? While there may be many factors at play here, one important factor is their resilience. So today, I would like to talk a little about resilience. Resilience is defined as the ability to bounce back from negative emotional experiences and to adapt flexibly to the changing demands of a stressful experience. People who are high on resilience are able to deal with stressors and disappointments in a more productive way and be less stressful in life. So how do we become more resilient? There are many protective factors that contribute to resilience. For example, our biology or physiology, our self-awareness, our ability for self-regulation, optimism and our feeling of connection. Let's go through them one by one. Biology indicates how our body responds to stress and this has a great effect on our resilience. If we are not well physically, then our ability to deal with stresses also decreases. It is for this reason that we get more angry or frustrated or disappointed when we are unwell or hungry or tired than when we are feeling good physically. So taking care of our nutrition, sleep and physical health is very important to improve our resilience. Self-awareness means how much do we know about ourselves? How aware are we of our breathing, our thoughts and our reactions? Do we have the words to describe what we are feeling? Do we know what strengths we have that can help us master our environment? How often do we ask ourselves, what is going on internally? Increased self-awareness increases the confidence in ourselves and builds a self-belief. It helps us understand our limitations. This helps us decide when to keep trying to resolve our issues alone and when to reach for support. It also helps us differentiate between what is controllable and what is not, a knowledge which is a very important aspect of resilience. So making a habit of spending some time daily in self-awareness will improve our resilience in the longer run. Self-regulation is our ability to change our thoughts, emotions and physiology when what we are experiencing isn't helping us. Self-regulation helps us be more realistic and change or modify our goals according to the situation. We all know that having goals or having a vision of ourselves for the future is very important for resilience. It gives us something to shoot for. Another important aspect of self-regulation is mental agility, which means the ability to look at things from multiple perspectives. This helps us see more options to reach for a solution of our problems. It is therefore a good idea to invest our effort in activities that help in perspective building, goal setting and self-regulation. Another major factor that improves resilience is optimism or the belief in a positive future. Optimism gives us the attitude to continue to persist. Some of the ways to build optimism is to think about stressors as challenges and not threats. This helps us face the challenge than to withdraw from the threat. For example, if you get a negative health diagnosis and you treat it as a threat, it scares you, overwhelms you. But if you see it as a challenge, you think, okay, this is going to be hard, but I got this. I have the skills and the ability to cope with this. So actively practicing optimism is going to help a lot in developing our resilience. Connection with other people and ourselves is another critical variable in resilience. We don't necessarily need a big group. Just one person in our life who we know we can rely on significantly increases our ability to bounce back. It is these people who act as our safety net and give us the courage to stand up again. Not just others, but feeling attached or connected to something larger than yourself. It might be your faith, a mission, a purpose, an idea, or something that comes to you when you are out in nature. Anything that you believe in is critically important 
and worth fighting for increases the feeling of having a purpose in life therefore increases the resilience as you may have noticed building resilience is a long term process and it requires daily commitment but here are some quick tips that you can implement in your life so that it may be helpful in the long run first take care of your body eat nutritious food sleep adequately and spend some time on physical activity daily to find more about how to engage in physical activity during lockdown check out our video on adapting to the new normal second practice being able to separate what you can control in the situation from the aspects that you cannot control and might need to accept don't wait for a crisis to try this practice it daily like when the internet is not working or when a lecture is cancelled last minute or when there is a disagreement with a loved one ask yourself what can i control and what is out of my control in this situation third practice looking at disappointments as external unstable and specific meaning that the situation is not entirely your fault it is changeable and it affects only that particular domain of your life and not your entire life fourth practice gratitude deliberately try to think of two or three things in the day that you are grateful for five build positive emotions do something daily that increases positive feelings within yourself any activity which can increase happiness curiosity love gratitude serenity any positive feeling. and lastly do not hesitate to ask for help when you feel the need for it asking for help only shows that you are aware of your limitations you have the ability to change your beliefs when something is not working you are optimistic enough to envision a better future for yourself and are committed to your own well-being this means asking for help is not a sign of weakness it is an indication of your growing resilience thank you and happy growing